Hello once again everyone, welcome back for, that's right, video number three tonight, or yeah, tonight I guess, because it's not tomorrow yet, uh, but either way, you might be thinking right off the bat, who's this guy? And you know the answer is, I don't fucking know, <laughs> because you see, it's come to my attention that a fair amount of my fans, or at least some of them, enjoy my more, you know, whether it's the OBA educational videos or my more personal videos where I talk about real life uh, things in my life where it was like whether it was a psycho bitch from back in the day who pissed me off uh, Whether it's the OBA educational whether it was my I hate motivational speakers So this guy just I guess he's a motivational speaker I just used a Google images uh, or an image from Google images of a motivational speaker here, so um, Think of this as the conclusion to my I hate motivational speakers video because in my course thing uh, today, or, well, maybe by the time this gets uploaded, it could be technically yesterday. Uh, we'll see. Either way, uh, Mr. Motivational Speaker himself came there one more time for the final time, uh, so I figured I would share this because some of you guys seem to enjoy hearing about these types of things. So, that's why we're going to do it. And before we actually get into it, I just want to say, uh, I remember that I, or I completely had forgot that I remember... Fuck, that came out all wrong. I completely forgot that I had said in the other video yesterday that there would be an unboxing Amiibo video today. I'm too tired to do that now, so that'll probably happen tomorrow, a.k.a. Saturday. Um, so, we're going to talk conclusion of the motivational speaker thing. This will close the case as it is, or as it was, uh, or as it were. Is that the saying? You know what I mean. So either way, um, if you recall, in my last video where I talked about this, he got under my skin, told me straight up my opinion was wrong after he called me out saying I thought he was bullshit, which I do think that. And so, you know, I was a bit cranky. But you see, this time, remember my personality, the logician. I've analyzed him, I've, you know, got the stats on him, I've figured out a plan, and I was, you know, ready this time. And I was right. He didn't get under my skin this time. Uh, I still found, or found that he was a goofball, and you know, actually, a more accurate term after everything, I would think, is he was more of a um, still a scam artist, I would say, but more of a uh, what's the word? His whole thing about like, oh, like he got on top at one point talking about like we need to forget about the past and people who hurt us. We need to move on. We need to accept each other. I was just thinking. You know what your term should be? Not motivational speaker, but you're just a modern-day hippie. He was alive in the hippie days, obviously. 70s, wasn't that 70s or 60s? Before my time, I don't remember. Uh, or I wouldn't even know. But <laughs> So, to me, it seems like his whole motivational speech, I don't know if I can compare it to other ones, because I haven't had mo other motivational speakers before. Uh, or No, actually, I had one back in like elementary school, but I don't remember a damn thing about it. Uh, but either way point is, all the ideas of, we need to get along as human beings, we need a positive attitude, you know? I don't know where that accent came from, but... <laughs> My point is, he's saying things like hippies would say, but he's just modernized it to modern times. So, let's see. So, in my opinion, again, and I don't hate him as a person, but to me, he's a phony, he's a scam artist, he's a manipulator... Uh, and a goofball, and now a hippie, a modern-day hippie. So those are not exactly the greatest things. And I know what he would say if he heard this. He'd be like, you got to turn those negativities into positivities. And he goes on about, you know, you got to get rid of your negative charges. Um, and one thing that really kind of I wasn't expecting was he... Remember how I said my belief, you know, in fate and all that, and he said, well, you're wrong. Without actually saying fate, he used the term, like, universe. Like, he was just like... Uh, the universe is telling you this. You were meant for this. That's what he said for some other someone's story. I can't remember what the fuck it was exactly. So basically, this time, he took my goddamn idea or thoughts or you know belief that he quoted was wrong, and then incorporated them into his own spiel, his own shtick. So I was thinking, really, you insult me last week by saying this as or the way I think is wrong, and then or the way I believe is wrong, and then you put it into your own shtick, your own ses or session. Alright. 
whatever. Do your thing. So, uh, so what I did, I was prepared. Now, granted, I was tired as fuck at the beginning of the day, but by the time you showed up, I was, you know, I had a second wind of energy, and I was ready to rumble, or ready to rumble. So on the little, the whiteboard, I wrote down on marker, uh, what did I write? Round three, final round, and then I put verses, and then underneath it, like, you know, kind of like a, what do you call it? Mortal Kombat style, where there's a person on each side. I wrote, you know, the great John in this corner. And then on the other one, I put James, the motivational speaker. So as soon as he came in, he, after, you know, a few seconds, he ended up seeing it on the board, and he just burst out laughing. Now, granted, I was smirking my ass off, too, because it showed this time I was ready. This time I had a plan. This time he wouldn't get under my skin. So when, like I said, he didn't, but, uh... It was interesting, nonetheless. What else was there to say? There was another story he brought up. Uh, oh, at one point, I forget who, who said what, but we were all kind of laughing about it. And the motivational speaker, dude, James, he brought up how um, that, uh, what was it? He pointed me out, and he's like, see, John's completely different from last week. This time he's, or last time he was crossing his arms, he was all cranky and upset and mad, and this time he's smiling and got a, you know, he's having a good time. Now, I was thinking to myself, uh, I was just, or no, it was because I, I pointed at my head. I tapped my head, and I was just like, because this time I have a plan for you. This time I came prepared. This time I've analyzed you, and I understand you. So that's why I was smiling, because he, nothing, nothing he said could get under my skin. And then so he brought up how, he's like, see, last week he learned something. Now, I didn't say this because I didn't want to be rude, but I said in my mind, I was like, yeah, you know what I learned last week? I learned I hated you. <laughs> now, after he left the room, I was telling my uh, my other, um, what do you call it? What's the term? Not classmates, not associates. Uh, the other participants, I guess, is a good term. And I was saying, you know, that and the, <laughs> the one girl beside me, she was just like, wow, man, that's harsh. And I was just like, yep, damn straight, but it is what it is. So it was fun. And then after he left, uh, I wrote up on the board, uh, winner... The Great John. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so, it was kind of amusing in the end. Um, but again, like I said in the other video, for me, I can understand how motivational speakers would work on the masses, like just the generic people who, you know, they don't understand common sense. But for me, everything he said is just like, oh my goodness, I've known this for years now. This is nothing new. You're literally telling us, pick a reasonable and realistic goal, and then go out and do it. It's like, wow, thanks, buddy. Thanks. Oh, and another story I should share about him, uh, or that he shared, I should say, was, uh, what was it? He said that he does. He was helping with hypnotism with this like 70-year-old lady or whatever who had some... Um, I can't remember what the problems was, some, you know, medical issues. And so he's like, instead of, uh, so he was teaching her how to do self-hypnosis and to heal her body, to help heal it. Now, we all know that the, the body itself naturally heals. That's just a fucking fact. Um, but he was all like, you need to activate your body. I'm thinking, your body activates on its own. It starts healing when you get an injury, you cut yourself, you could be pissed off, and it's going to heal still, and he's all, he's, he kept going on about, like, you just got to tell yourself, I can heal, you know, and you can be positive about it, and wake up in the morning, and put a smile on your face, look in the mirror for five minutes, and say, I'm going to have a fantastic day, and it's going to make you heal faster, and, and be more energetic, and everything, and I was just like, no, oh, and he also said, if you tap your chest with a finger, and think about a happy memory, that that'll invigorate your body and make you much more energetic. I'm like, yeah, I don't believe that. But back to the story, the 70-year-old. And so he said, uh, rather than her, you know, taking, like, say, 15 medications to feel better, she can use self-hypnosis to, uh, you know, feel better. And I was thinking, again, I didn't say this out loud, but I was thinking, I was like, so rather than her pay for 15 medications or with health care or whatever, um, you know, if she did have to pay, it would be a bit pricey. She would get a way that would, yes, you know, whether you're against drugs or not, medication is a different story for me. You know, it would guarantee her results. It would help her. It would improve her. That's the point of medicine. Or she could choose not to take medication 
and she could pay you $2,500 a session, or however much it was, to learn self hypno or self hypnosis and maybe get better. So you see, for me, I see through that. To me, that's a master manipulator. That's an opportunist. That's a scam artist. Going after a 70 year old lady, teaching her to self hypnotize herself when you know you're paying when you're taking away 2500 bucks or however much it is from her pension or retirement fees or not fees retirement funds or whatever now i don't know this lady so maybe maybe his mumbo jumbo worked you never know it could be a placebo effect maybe she believes she's getting better maybe her body itself its natural healing abilities kicking in it doesn't matter if you're old or young your body still heals granted it's slower when you're older but it still heals so, to me, I think it, he's just a scammer, you know? I feel like she could have just taken her medication, and I get, you know, some people would be like, oh, I'd rather not take 15 pills a day. That's, I, I totally understand that. And it's her life, her money, you know, if she wants to pay for it. But for me, it's giving up a surefire way to combat your symptoms, your issues while you heal for a you know, much ex more expensive way that maybe might work, you know, depending on the person, that just makes you the, a vulnerable target and an easy target, in my opinion. So, we're going to conclude this little discussion video on motivational speakers again. I doubt I'll do another one, but I'll definitely end up doing another video like this at some point. Now, I don't know if I'm going to call this like a vlog, because it's, it's not really a vlog. It's more of just a sharing time with John. <laughs> but uh, whatever it is, something like this video, it'll probably pop up again at some point, because these are fun to do from time to time. So that'll do it for this video. We'll see you all in the next one.